Hi, Julie Torrance here. So we're wrapping up the bead journal. I am not going to be doing anything on the cover because I like this applique fabric that they have and I don't want to cover it up. I just think it's beautiful and it reminds me of a bee. I have some metallic bees that maybe I'll glue, but I, I'm not convinced of that yet. All right. So it's time to put the lace in and we'll do just a kind of a flip through as we go along. But didn't we do great our last video in getting things on? Okay, so I say lace as kind of a generic term. I've got some ribbon, I've got some fabric um, salvages, just all kinds of things. So this one is going to be a it's a fabric salvage that has words on it, but I just think it's, I think it's pretty and cool. I'm using Fabri-Tac. I think it's the best glue that I have come across for fabrics. And I don't know, I feel like the edges of pages, they do take some stress. So, you can just put this on. Don't stretch your lace or your fabrics as you're putting it on because it will want to go back to the way it was before it was stretched and it'll either buckle your page or come off. Okay, this is just a silicone kind of a paddle brush and it is um, for applying cosmetics. I got it at the dollar store, but it's great for Fabri-Tac. And other things. I've used it for gesso. Kind of like a wide painting brush. Okay, we've got the green one here. I think that's going to look gorgeous. If I lay my Fabri-Tac down so that it's more at the ready when I pick it up, it's it kind of bubbles out. So some people have uh, messaged me on how to take care of that problem but it has to do with when you open it and there's that cover i'll try to lay it down we'll see what happens there's like a cover you know like a paper or aluminum foil cover and you don't tear it all the way off so i'm going to try that next time but i'm not going to sacrifice a whole bottle just for for that i'll deal with the blurbing okay Get this all pressed down. I'm trying not to get too much glue outside of where we want it because I want to be able to keep moving along. Okay, that looks good. Well, gluing pages together. Well, that's the way I do. Okay, now I've got this white lace here. One of the things that I decided for my journals, but you do you. Um, if I have white lace, then I'm not also adding cream colored lace and vice versa. Now, maybe it would have to do with what colors are in your journal. If it's like a beige and white and green or something, then, you know, it may look great. Uh, I never like rules like if you're wearing gold jewelry, don't wear silver and, you know, things like that. I I've never. But just at least for this journal, I just felt like. I started with white. I'm going to keep going with white. And I have enough. So, okay, this needs to get pulled down just a touch. There you go. Okay. I think that this adds a lot to a journal. These pages. I really do. Look at that. Can you see? <laughs> okay. See, now this is just a strip of fabric, but I just love the blue flowers with the blue birds. It is blurbing out a little bit on me, but not enough that it's hitting my desk. So, so what's going on in your world? My next project, as far as making a journal, I've got 
fussy cut it and a good start that way on it. Um, but I think I'm going to do something else in between. I mean, I, I miss doing things like my art journal and drawing and painting and all that. So I think I may head in that direction. This one's going to need a little trim, but that's okay. I'm going to just make sure. There we go. All right. I like that. Kind of puts the, the junk in the junk journal. Now this one came from this fabric. This be happy, be kind, be good, this bee fabric. And it's the salvage, but it's got bees on it. So I thought, well, yeah. That's, that was an easy decision to make. I think this journal, I'm, I'm happy with it. Let me know how, how you feel in the comments. I can tell you my videos didn't do great on the B journal yet, but it's, it's like a slow go. Normally they, they say that in the first 24 hours is when you're going to get your most views. And then you just kind of hope you'll get some views after that. But my, my, uh, journaling videos I get a little all the way along and I did a a harvesting magazine video that I did a year ago and many times it's one of the top videos for the last 28 days or however they measure now this is just I love this middle page so I got some lace that will really set it off I think I think it'll set off the book as a whole, and I think it'll set off this page real nice. I don't know. You just sort of feel like your center page, it's kind of nice to have it be a bit of a splash. And I am covering a good portion of the white border that came with this picture. I got it from a gardening book but it still hangs out over the edge. So I, I think that looks, I think that looks good. Okay. Oh, a bit of a dry spell here. Now this is ribbon. I don't know what it's going to look like with Fabri-Tac under it, but we're just going to find out. I don't think there's another glue that I, that would do less showing through so we're just going to give it a go I think it'll add a nice sparkle to the book yeah that looks good to me what do you think good Okay, yeah, that'd be a fun page to write on, wouldn't it? Okay. One more. This says on it, beetles and bugs. But I still thought it was fun for this page with this heavy white border. Sometimes when you pick a book page... To put in your journal, one side, because you're folding it in half, one side tends to be a little happier than the other side, and the other one, the other side, you need to dowel it up a bit, which is fine. Let's do it. Okay. Should we do a quick look-see together? Because all we have left is here. And then there's the end of our book. So let's just see what, what did the lace do. Oh, look. Look at that. Isn't that fun? And when you have it closed, I think it looks great. 
Okay, so we're going to just do a quick flip through. I'm not going to talk about every page. We can just take a look at the laces that we added. This one's really outstanding, but you know, it, it really decorates both pages, doesn't it? I like this. I don't think we have the pockets overstuffed or understuffed. They were definitely understuffed the day before. Yay, the middle. Are you going to work on a bead journal? I'd be interested to know. Let me know in the comments. I did put links in the comments for the digitals that I used and also for some of my favorite artists and for PM Artist Studios because that's where my digitals are. Take a look at my printables. Please consider the liking, thumbs up, it helps my channel, and also subscribing. And if you have a friend that you think would like a bee journal, we'll share it with your friend. Okay, thumbs up. Thank you so much. We're going to say good night to the Bee Journal and on to new things. Bye now.